Select from the code given below the correct locational sequence of the following hills proceeding from south to north. Satmala Hills Khymer Hill Spear Panjal Range Naga Hills Codes. A2,3,1,4. B1,2,4,3. C1,2,3,4. D4,3,2,1. The correct answer is, C. The Satmala Hills are located in the western part of India, the Khymer Hills are located in the eastern part of India, the Purpanjal Range is located in the northern part of India, and the Naga Hills are located in the northeastern part of India. Therefore, the correct locational sequence of the following hills proceeding from south to north is, Satmala Hills Khymer Hills Purpanjal Range Naga Hills Option, A, is incorrect because it places the Khymer Hills before the Satmala Hills. Option, B, is incorrect because it places the Naga Hills before the Purpanjal Range. Option, D, is incorrect because it places the Purpanjal Range before the Khymer Hills. Which of the following pairs is not correctly matched? A center of excellence for aromatic crop A Salakwi. B Aroma Park A Kashipur. C Soil Testing Laboratory A Bawala. DT Factory A Udham Singh Nagar. The correct answer is, D. A center of excellence for aromatic crop is a facility that provides research and development support to farmers and businesses involved in the cultivation and processing of aromatic crops. The center of excellence for aromatic crop in Salakwi, Uttarakhand, India, is one of the leading centers of its kind in the world. It offers a range of services, including training, research, and extension support. Aroma Park is a commercial complex that houses a number of businesses involved in the production and processing of aromatic products. The Aroma Park in Kashipur, Uttarakhand, India, is one of the largest and most successful aroma parks in the world. It offers a range of facilities, including warehousing, processing, and packaging. A soil testing laboratory is a facility that provides testing services for soil samples. The soil testing laboratory in Bawala, Uttarakhand, India, is one of the leading soil testing laboratories in the country. It offers a range of tests, including nutrient analysis, pH testing, and salinity testing. A tea factory is a facility that produces tea from tea leaves. The tea factory in Udham Singh Nagar, Uttarakhand, India, is one of the largest tea factories in the country. It produces a range of teas, including black tea, green tea, and oolong tea. The only pair that is not correctly matched is, D. A tea factory is not a facility that provides research and development support to farmers and businesses involved in the cultivation and processing of aromatic crops. Zaid Metal is the top civilian honor of A. Pakistan B. Saudi Arabia C. United Arab Emirates D. Qatar The correct answer is, C. The Zaid Medal is the highest civilian honor of the United Arab Emirates. It is awarded to individuals who have made outstanding contributions to the country in the fields of science, culture, education, sports, and humanitarian work. The medal was named after Sheikh Zaid bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the founding father of the United Arab Emirates. A. Pakistan's highest civilian honor is the Nishan e Pakistan. B. Saudi Arabia's highest civilian honor is the Order of King Abdulaziz. D. Qatar's highest civilian honor is the Order of the State of Qatar. As per the provisional figures of 2011 census, which one of the following districts of Uttar Pradesh has the lowest female literacy? A. Bolia. B. D. Oria. C. Gorakhpur. D. Rampur. The correct answer is, A, Bolia. According to the provisional figures of the 2011 census, the female literacy rate in Bolia district is 53.2%, which is the lowest among all the districts of Uttar Pradesh. The female literacy rate in Dioria district is 54.4%, Gorakhpur district is 55.1%, and Rampur district is 55.7%. There are a number of factors that contribute to the low female literacy rate in Bolia district. One factor is that the district has a high proportion of rural population. In 2011, the rural population of Bolia district was 84.4%, while the urban population was only 15.6%. Rural areas tend to have lower literacy rates than urban areas. Another factor that contributes to the low female literacy rate in Bolia district is the low level of education among women. In 2011, the average number of years of schooling for women in Bolia district was 4.8 years, which is lower than the average number of years of schooling for women in Uttar Pradesh, 5.4 years, and India, 6.1 years. The low female literacy rate in Bolia district has a number of negative consequences. It limits the opportunities available to women and girls, and it contributes to the cycle of poverty. It is important to address the factors that contribute to the low female literacy rate in Bolia district in order to improve the lives of women and girls in the district. Which of the following countries is called a garden of lakes? A. Poland. B. Finland. C. Netherland. D. Switzerland. The correct answer is, B. Finland. Finland is called the Garden of Lakes because it has over 187,888 lakes, which is more than any other country in the world.
The lakes cover about 10% of Finland's land area. The largest lake in Finland is Lake Sejma, which is the 14th largest lake in Europe. Poland is called the land of a thousand lakes because it has over 9,000 lakes. The Netherlands is called the Low Countries because it is located in a low-lying area that is prone to flooding. Switzerland is called the Alpine Republic because it is located in the Alps. Here are some additional facts about Finland. Finland is a Nordic country located in Northern Europe. Finland is bordered by Sweden to the west, Norway to the north, Russia to the east, and the Gulf of Bothnia and the Gulf of Finland to the south. Finland has a population of about 5.5 million people. The capital of Finland is Helsinki. The official language of Finland is Finnish. Finland is a member of the European Union. Finland is a developed country with a high standard of living. Finland is a popular tourist destination. In the world, agriculture is mostly practiced in the A river valleys. B coastal regions. C foothills. D plateau region. The correct answer is, A, river valleys. Agriculture is mostly practiced in river valleys because of the following reasons, river valleys have fertile soil, which is essential for growing crops. River valleys have access to water, which is necessary for irrigation. River valleys are relatively flat, which makes it easier to cultivate land. River valleys are often located in temperate climates, which are ideal for growing crops. Coastal regions are also suitable for agriculture, but they are not as common as river valleys. This is because coastal regions are often prone to flooding and erosion. Foothills and plateau regions are less suitable for agriculture because they have less fertile soil and less access to water. The headquarters of the UNEP are located at A. Geneva B. Kathmandu C. Nairobi D. New Delhi The correct answer is C. Nairobi The United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, is the leading global environmental authority that sets the global environmental agenda, promotes the coherent implementation of the environmental dimension of sustainable development within the United Nations system and coordinates the environmental activities of the United Nations and its agencies. UNEP was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 1972 at the Stockholm Conference on the Human Environment. The headquarters of UNEP is located in Nairobi, Kenya. The other options are incorrect. A. Geneva is the headquarters of the United Nations office at Geneva, UNOG. B. Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal. D. New Delhi is the capital of India. Which one of the following is not correctly matched? A. World's tallest, Tajila Waterfall Falls. B. World's largest, Lake Freshwater Lake Superior. C. World's highest, Lake Navigable Lake Titicaca. D. World's second, Lake Deepest Lake Tanganyika. The correct answer is, C. Lake Titicaca is the highest navigable lake in the world, but it is not the highest lake. The highest lake in the world is Lake Baikal, which is located in Siberia, Russia. Lake Baikal is also the deepest lake in the world, and it is the largest freshwater lake by volume. Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake by surface area. It is located in North America, and it is shared by the United States and Canada. Lake Superior is also the third largest lake in the world by surface area, after the Caspian Sea and Lake Victoria. Tajila Falls is the tallest waterfall in Africa. It is located in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Tajila Falls is a series of five waterfalls that cascade over a cliff face. The total height of Tajila Falls is 948 meters, 3,110 feet. Among the following the correct ascending order of the districts in Uttarakhand, in terms of area is A. Bhaishwar A. Rudrapriya Gay Champavat B. Rudrapriya Gay Champavat A. Bhaishwar C. Champavat A. Bhaishwar A. Rudrapriya D. Champavat A. Rudrapriya Gay Bhaishwar The correct answer is, C. Champavat is the smallest district in Uttarakhand, followed by Bhaishwar and Rudrapriya Champavat district has an area of 2,038 square kilometers. It is located in the Kuman region of Uttarakhand. The district is bounded by Pitharagarv district to the north, Almora district to the east, Nanital district to the south, and Bayshwar district to the west. The district is named after its headquarters, Champava town. Bayshwar district has an area of 2,325 square kilometers. It is located in the Kuman region of Uttarakhand. The district is bounded by Pitharagarv district to the north, Chamoli district to the east, Almora district to the south, and Champava district to the west. The district is named after its headquarters, Bayshwar town. Rudrapriyag district has an area of 3,560 square kilometers. It is located in the Garewal region of Uttarakhand. The district is bounded by Chamoli district to the north, Tari Garewal district to the east, Deharadun district to the south, and Haridvar district to the west. The district is named after its headquarters, Rudrapriyag town. The area of each district is as follows, Champavat, 2,038 square kilometers Bayshwar, 2,325 square kilometers Rudrapriyag, 
3,560 square kilometers therefore, the correct ascending order of the districts in Uttarakhand, in terms of area is, C. Champavat A. Bateshwar A. Radhaprayag. What is the total length of sea coastline of India? A. 7,016.6 km. B. 7,516.6 km. C. 7,716.6 km. D. 7,216.6 km. The correct answer is, B. 7,516.6 km. India has a coastline of 7,516.6 km. 4,671 miles, which is the seventh longest in the world. The coastline of India is bordered by the Arabian Sea to the west, the Bay of Bengal to the east, and the Indian Ocean to the south. The coastline of India is a major tourist attraction, and is home to a number of popular beaches, including Juhu Beach in Mumbai, Varkala Beach in Kerala, and Gokarna Beach in Karnataka. The coastline of India is also home to a number of important ports, including Mumbai Port, Chennai Port, and Kolkata Port. These ports are vital to the Indian economy, and handle a significant amount of cargo traffic. The coastline of India is a beautiful and important part of the country. It is a major tourist attraction, and is home to a number of important ports. The coastline of India is also a vital part of the Indian economy.